The gamma variant accounts for the vast majority of variants detected in local COVID-19 samples. Virologist Professor Christine Carrington said this is one example of a variant of concern, which is one of three variants detected in the country. Kimberly D'Souza has more. The Alpha, Gamma and Delta variants have all been detected in local COVID-19 samples. Professor of Molecular Genetics and Virology, Dr. Christine Carrington, said these variants are all referred to as variants of concern, adding that the Gamma variant accounts for the vast majority of cases detected. And then we have Gamma, which is noted for being more transmissible, and there's some evidence of increased lethality, so increased death, um, but most vaccines retain their effectiveness against Gamma. And this is the only variant of concern for which we have evidence of community spread in Trinidad and Tobago. Professor Carrington said the beta variant has not been detected in the country. She added that variants of interest such as Mu, Lambda and Kappa have also not been detected locally but have been found in the Caribbean. While the 6th Delta variant case was recorded in the country on Sunday, Principal Medical Officer of Health Dr. Miriam Abdul-Richards noted the Delta cases were detected in persons who were being quarantined. Be because according to the national policy on, vac on, on returning nationals, they would have been considered unvaccinated. Uh, all persons have been treated and managed in our parallel healthcare system and some have been discharged and others are doing well. Both Dr. Abdul Richards and Dr. Carrington encouraged people to get vaccinated. Dr. Carrington also sought to clear up a misconception that people should not take the COVID-19 vaccine as vaccinated people can contract the virus. She said vaccinated people are less likely to be hospitalized and less likely to die from the virus. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News. With the first week of September completed, epidemiologist Dr. Avery Hines said the data presented is similar to what was seen in August as the COVID-19 cases remain around 100 per day. And that peach or salmon uh, colored section of the background, that is the positivity rate and that positivity rate has hovered between 25 and 30 percent throughout that time frame. So we're seeing the delicate equilibrium between increased movement, increased vaccination. Dr. Hines also discussed the COVID-19 trend in several counties. So we saw that St. Patrick's in George West, Tobago and Victoria also increases from week 33 to week 34, as opposed to Carolina of Mayaro, St. George Central, St. George East, which showed decreases. And that balanced itself out to have similar numbers from one week to the next. Dr. Hines said he expected to see an increased number of COVID-19 cases among the traveling population. And six more deaths due to COVID-19. The death toll is now 1,336. There are also 110 new positive cases. The number of active cases now stands at 3,771. The Ministry of Health says there are now 413,736 fully vaccinated persons, with 523,198 persons receiving a first dose of a two-dose regime.